Hello, John. Hello, Simon. How are you today? Yes, jolly good. <laughs> Looking Excellent. forward to the rescue mission on Big Drill 1. Big Drill 1. Oh, now that's a good name for it. Did anyone come to you with a name for it? I was inundated. Inundated, were you? That's a word I wasn't expecting you to use. Or <laughs> No, um, I was absolutely inundated with naming requests, but I think Big Drill 1, was that what you called it? Big um, Drill 1, yes, yes, that was my one and only meagre suggestion. That, that has, has won the voting, actually, you'd be surprised. Hurrah! <laughs> Hooray for democracy. So, um, do you actually remember what we need to do to um, yes, get Yes, we this? need to put reverse thrusters on it. I, well, yeah, we, because you've driven it in here and given it no possibility of coming back out again. We don't need it to come back out again. We remember it's a TBM. We discussed this. What's a TBM mean? Tunnel boring machine. Are you sure it's not totally bloody mashed? <laughs> oh, uh, no. Uh, I think it is. Well, what do we need to do? We need to add a drill back on here again because that fell off. I really think you need some reverse thrusters on for uh, steering, if nothing else. Why do you want to steer? No, no, I'm conventional like that. I think you find that the, um, the the walls of the tunnel will steer us. No, the walls of the tunnel will smash bits off. That's our problem. Well, okay. So we need a new drill. We need some bulletproof glass for the... Um, we need 16 bulletproof you know, glass for the cockpit. I don't actually care what you say. I'm putting some reverse thrusters on it. <laughs> And yeah. I'm putting my reverse cockpit on there so I can drive you out of trouble. Other than that, we're in complete agreement. Well, who, if you're in one cockpit going one way, and I'm in the other going the other way, who wins? Uh, whoever's got the most thrust. Right. So you're going to put more reverse thrusters than forward thrusters, are you? <laughs> Not at all. I think the reverse cockpit would help for docking as well, when we want to bring it back out. Which, and, uh, which we won't be doing, as we discussed. When we bring it back out, and we want to um, empty the cargo hold of delicious, delicious resources. Now, you see, you're not really getting the whole tunnel boring machine phenomenon here, are you? I thought you were describing yourself. <laughs> no. Um, you see, it, 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 it's now a permanent fixture of the asteroid. It remains. That's only it, because of the way you drove it. it, it it's the way it works. It would not have been a permanent fixture of the asteroid if you had mashed it into the side. It, it, it's designed to do that. Yes. So once it's now as it is in the tunnel and we've done the repairs and maybe added a little bit of armour on the corners perhaps. Um, just oh, I died. Um, How did you manage that already? I think I headbutted the refinery. <laughs> okay. I may have been going a wee bit quick. Um, did you damage my refinery? Um, oh, he's very dead now. <laughs> I'm not sure why, but oh, he's very dead. That's my refinery just broken. Only a bit of it. A bit too much. That's as maybe, but uh, I don't care. Re reversing isn't going to solve the problem right now. It's breaking when you bump into it. That does reversing. Yeah, we need to bring it out of this tunnel, so when we're repairing it, we're not knocking it into the sides. Yeah, but we did the damage by knocking it into the sides while we were using it. So we need to stop it from being damaged when we do knock it into the sides. Oh, he's gone quiet. Does that mean he I'm agrees? Not, I'm not sure I followed you. Yes, <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we could reverse it out and make it all pristine and brilliant, and then yep. and then in driving it back in again, we could macker it. Except but, we won't, because we've got reverse thrusters now and can control our speed. <laughs> it wasn't a question. It's not a question of going into something. If you're knocking into it, and it's bumping into the side and destroying itself, it's not a question of speed. Again, he's gone. A question of speed. Again, he's gone a little bit quiet. Therefore, I think he might have agreed with me. No, I'm just trying to work out what passes for logic in John World. But... Um, the truth and the fact that I'm right, I think. Truth is from Ruth, as Confucius once said. So I'll take it that you agree that we just need to make <laughs> it stronger. No. I agree with nothing. Nothing. 
Nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Are we singing 80s pop songs here? <laughs> it was a bit Kylie, wasn't it? Uh, that wasn't Kylie. Yeah. Said, I owe you nothing. Was that Brots? Kylie, that wasn't Brots? it? What have you done now? Oh, what do you mean, what have I done? I died again. What the hell? Have Where did you... turned up the velocities and gravities on here to make punching things much more fatal? <laughs> well, I haven't died yet. Well, I've died twice just by tapping into the assembler. There needs to be a button alphabetizing for you. Yeah. Easy to find. That's um, probably something I'd agree with, actually. But have that in writing, you agree with one of my ideas. It's being broadcast to the world, Simon. Do you need it in writing? Yes. A verbal agreement isn't worth the paper it's written on. Well, we've sure got, we've still at least got one boss of mine has said over the years. <laughs> <laughs> still got a red tube going on here. A what there? Ah, there's um, a red damage to the bottom of the ship. Ah, right. One of the red tubes is... Well, one of the tubes is red. So fix it, Johnny! Yeah, I need to get to it to do that. Are you saying we should perhaps reverse it out of its predicament? Never. <laughs> <laughs> Just on principle at this point, yeah. <laughs> right, everything we have made is in constructed parts, so all of our spares are in there. Right. Everything in the assemblers and the refineries and the furnaces are raw materials only. Can you bring me an interior plate? Just the one. Uh, yes, please. Very well. One interior plate. Where do you need it? At the front. Um, I need it to make a to make a um a tubey thing. All the lights are on. No, they're not. Aren't they? You sure about that? Oh no, yeah, over that side. Right. Which one needs the interior plate, John? See that hole down there? Yep. Stick a bendy tube. Connecting up into the block above it, yeah? Yeah. Oh, I need small one, don't I? Small bendy tube. Going up. That way. Okay. If that's complete. Should be. Oh, I need a motor and a construction component as well. So you didn't just need the interior plate, you needed all of it. Well, I did have the motors, but somebody then stole them, didn't they? They are in giant cargo container. How many motors would you like? One, please. Just the one? Yes, and one construction component? One of them. And, and uh, a whole bunch of steel plates, because I think we should put heavy steel thingies around boxes. Okay. I'm carrying as much steel plate as I can. Uh, I will attempt to weldify that. What have you done? You put I, that in the way so I can't weld it. I shouldn't put that there, should I? No, you shouldn't. Get rid of it. Good boy. Try that. Right, that's all lit up. Right, we're laughing. Where are we putting heavy panels? Um, I would say on each corner because that's where the damage sort of started from. Oh blimey! How many more of these plates are you putting on? I'm just putting some over the back of the tube here. I don't think that helps. I think it's the front of the tubes where where the impacts are happening. We really need to protect yeah, them. Yeah, but it also helps with the weight, and it looks better. I thought you said all the weight was already too far forward. I don't know if that matters. How the heck are we going to find out which is number 17 then? Build an antenna. 
quickest and easiest way, otherwise you're happy to go and... Oh no, I'll tell you how to do it. Go into your control panel, go to drill 17 and toggle the block on. Sounds dangerous. That should then start drilling. Then rub your face against the front surface and whichever one cuts your face off is the one we don't want. Does that help? It seems to be making noises. Oh, it's that one over that side. There you go. See, I'm full of good ideas. I'm impressed. Now don't call me science sci space engineer man for nothing. No, I wouldn't have thought they would. <laughs> that would take uh, quite quite a lot of payment. Hey. Seventeen off. You moving the ship is making it really hard to weld. I wasn't moving it. It was moving. It was chuddering up and down. Ah, like good. we got a connector broken. Oh dear. When did that happen? Just then? Um, I don't know. Maybe it probably the, the not. The act of it turning a drill on and bouncing has caused something to smash. No. No, 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 no. That's why the drill wasn't connected. Ah, right, okay. I need a motor and construction component to complete that. There are those things in the big container. I believe drill number 13 is not connected either. That's unfortunate. That's unlucky, isn't it? Yes. Of all the drill numbers that I would like to not work, that's not the one I would choose. Aha! We have a broken connector. Another one. I've got a feeling that these have got a problem. Yeah, you keep driving it into the side of the asteroid. Yeah, but they're in the middle of the of the cutting face. I thought they would be quite safe. They're still taking a pounding. But why? Vibrations. Oh, I did figure out how you dock ship to ship by the way. It's a merge block. In that case, that's what we need. The whole thing that we had a discussion about, oh no, yes. I think we need to drive this all the way back to the station. You could have used that bit yeah. of knowledge that you had. Yes, that was sitting in the back of my brain going, remember me, remember me. <laughs> we need to take this docking port off the back. No, 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 don't take that off yet. We're just getting rid of the stone. Oh. Um. You can always, well, I suppose you can always put it up to the side or something, couldn't you? Hang on. Yeah, there's nothing saying the merge block has to be out the back. Oh, well, it does, because that's where the ship's going to attach and that's where the most room will be. Yeah, but if we put the merge block on top here... Then the wall, the ceiling of the of the, of the cave when we get in will not be out We'll still be below that. We just pilot that ship in here, plunk it down, and die. No, it's a terrible idea. Now we need to take that merge block, that connector port off the back. That's fine, and put it on the side, that's all. Um, are there small ones? Because we could put the small ones on, on the sides of each of the uh, container and then dump lots more. Oh, more docking ports. Or connectors, no. sorry. Connectors. Put more connectors on and vent all the stone out through them. Yeah. A bold move, let's see if it pays off. No, they're too big. Too big for what? I've got one going on this side. Yeah, but they because they're connecting to a small door, that they're, they're, they're not going to ma match up, are they? Connecting to a large door on this side. Okay, you got a large door on that side, that'll do then. Is there only a small one on the other side? Yeah. I ain't having an asymmetric ship. Uh, well, it ain't going to work then. No, 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 no. That would hurt all my delicate sensibilities. Join us in the next episode where we continue to make this mining ship work. Alternatively, uh, if you want to follow my Kerbal Space Program career, uh, just click there. Or well, my single player space engineers there. Don't forget to, uh, to like, comment and subscribe to the channel. And follow me on Twitter at, at Alwick. Thanks for watching.